Lionsgate and director Rupert Sanders dropped the first official trailer for the Crow reboot. I'm going to take a look at this trailer next. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca. How you doing on this Thursday? I hope you're doing well. Hope everything's going well in your week. Uh, and I'm really excited to dive into this first trailer for the Crow reboot, which has been like, it feels like almost 20 years in the making with multiple uh, uh, stops and starts, multiple people attached to it, like Jason Momoa and others. But finally, we've got a trailer for this film. It's a three minute trailer. Bill Skarsgård leading the way here, taking over from the great Brandon Lee and then other actors who have played the crow in the subsequent sequels after the tragic passing of brandon lee and i'm excited to see what we're gonna get here rupert sanders a director i did enjoy his version of ghost and shell aside from of course the the whitewashing they did with scarlett johansson's character i did think it was a well-directed film snow white and the huntsman films eh, maybe not so much but certainly i like that so i'm interested to see what he's going to bring what flavor he's going to bring as the director for this one all right, well, let's not waste any time. Get into this first trailer, first official trailer here for the Crow reboot uh, from director Rupert Sanders and Lionsgate. Let's see what we got. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite oh. brilliantly broken. You feel like my person? A little sexy beginning. You okay. Feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. Oh, I wow. I've seen any of it. Interesting. What is he like a devil worshiper? Like, does he speak? Does he have some kind of power? Oh. Wow. <laughs> When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. And sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. Oh! You were given the power of a god. Oh. But you're running out of time to save her. Wow. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to kill them. Every single one of them. <sighs> yeah, I knew he'd be the big bad. It's Danny Houston, for God's sake. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. Oh my god, wow. It's not anger. It's love. Hmm. <laughs> What you become? You know that love promises only pain. Oh. All right, that's enough. Stop showing you me so much. Oh no, my god! I do. How many people have you loved? I never be alone. Okay. Damn. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, there you go. Um, yeah. I mean, yes. This looks like an awesome, awesome revenge movie with a lot of supernatural, possibly, you know, religious overtones going on here with, um, it seems like Danny Houston, we've seen that shot, him whispering some demonic shit into this uh, woman's ears before he does what he does. And so what is, the, what is the connection here? And this is a much more supernatural approach to this story, which 
I never read the comic, although I love the movie, the original movie. The I mean, I, still one of the greatest soundtracks ever. Still one of the greatest uh, films to quote. But it, that didn't have too much of a supernatural element to it in terms of a movie. So seeing more of that here, is that related to the comics? Is that what the connection is here when we see this? But I like that they're adding that element here. Is he going on a, is he a soldier for this particular mission? Is this a demon, Danny Houston's character? Is this a demon who has kind of escaped uh, hell and is uh, wrecking havoc on earth? So is he being used? Kind of like we saw in the Constantine movie with John Constantine. They're trying, uh, going after um, uh, Gabriel, to, uh, Tilda Swinton's character to bring her back into the fold. Like, is that the situation, or like to stop her doing what she's doing rather? And is this situation here? Is is he being used to kill all these people in order to set something right cosmically between heaven and hell? I don't know. It's a very interesting uh, thought process in my head as I'm watching this. So this one has a lot of interesting elements to it. The visuals here are pretty striking. The revenge is pretty brutal, bloody, and as hell. And I love we see two heads getting tossed into the crowd. A lot of imagery here. Love the use of the Ozzy Osbourne stuff. Love the use of the song at the tail end, which I don't recognize, but some of y'all may recognize, but I immediately want to have in my collection collection um uh, i loved bill skarsgård and they're giving him just enough they're giving fk twigs just enough here to give you an idea of what they can do and what they can bring i thought the trailer was a little long like don't show me the whole goddamn movie let me go and see it um but it does have a little elements of shades of john wick which is ironic considering bill was just in john wick chapter four so i like this elements i like these elements all coming together and this feels like a very confident approach from rupert sanders as a director to bring this story to life i like the crow imagery i like the um what seems to, like when she's in the water falling back we've seen that before but the far away shot of it was pretty cool as well so what is the revenge he's seeking why, why does he seek this revenge and what's the end result going to be once he gets this revenge does he stay this creature or does he finally find peace because they say in the trailer some souls will never be at rest until they set certain things right so there must be more to the story beyond him seeking revenge what is her role in it what is his role in it what really happened that night so i like that there's all this uh these extra elements to it and it's got a it's got a nice um uh hardcore approach to this story that gets me excited and certainly bill has been working out in the gym for god's sake so looks fantastic in those abs well what did you think did you like this did it get you excited i know we've been, we've been waiting for so long and all these stops and starts are you now back in 100% and excited to see what we're going to get? Let me know down in the comment section below. Or did it not work for you? Do you have re reservations or trepidations on certain things? Let me know down in the comment section below as well. All right, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching this trailer reaction. Please remember to hit a like on this video. Share it on your social media. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content we do. And, of course, the Patreon. Head on over to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash John Roca. The tiers have been updated. So now you can can take a look and see if there's a tier that works for you as you support everything we do here all right y'all take care of yourselves be well this one comes out on june 7th put it on your calendar and i'll talk to you next time with a brand new reaction video here on the outlaw nation fire it up fire it up